So the footpath is optional. You may have your footpath uh, making this particular change in the way that I've withdrawn it here. But what we'd actually like to do is to restore it back to its um, original alignment and also uh, maintain its original elevation. So if you're thinking about just simply matching it onto an alignment, you can do that. But unfortunately, what's going to be happening is it's going to be maintaining 5% from, in our case, from the back of the curve code to its new location, which would be here, which actually won't work. We want it to maintain its original elevation or height all the way through. So let's have a look at how this works. We're going to add the same variation that we've been adding previously, simply going in and we're going to be changing the left footpath inner code using the picker tool here to pick the two changes. Then we're making a width variation which is going to be set. So at the moment the width would be 1. By the time it gets to here we need it to be 0.7, okay, which is the adjustment. So we're going to say the start width is 1, the end width is 0.7 the slope or vertical needs to be set. Now I know that it's 5% at this particular spot. Now to maintain its elevation so that the drive would be at the same height here, even though we've moved and adjusted this, I know that I have to be at 17.1% to maintain my slope of my footpath. You may um, have different requirements where you maybe need to uh, maintain a certain slope behind your curb, um, but in this case, we're gonna be putting in that as 17.1 and clicking add update. All we now do is just simply copy this entry just for speed, picking the new spots for the driveway to be maintained or the footpath to be maintained all the way through. We're going to be setting this at 0.7, making sure that we've got 17.1 in there. So basically maintaining all the way through, adding and updating. As I said, you still need that third entry, even if initially it looks like you won't need it. An extra sample line get in it, getting added in could potentially disrupt that variation. So we're going to go ahead and just simply pick the end changes here and we're going to say look yes start at 0.7 but end at 1 and then start at 17.1 but end at 5% which is basically restoring it back to its original values and add update. We're then going to hit auto model and then we'll open up model viewer to take a quick look. So you can see here how that footpath has now been adjusted back and you can also uh, uh, see that that slope has been adjusted to suit the fact that that footpath code needed to be maintained all the way through. Now we're going to have a look at how we can use the Excel export and Excel link to effectively create these design variations in one go for us at nominated start changes.